Welcome back to TV5 News at 9, everyone, and happy Earth Day to all of you. I know with the warmer weather that we've been getting, you're just itching to get out there and start planting, take care of your landscaping or your lawn, and that's exactly what we're talking about today is your lawn and dairy dew. So we got Justin Morgan with us this morning. He's with Morgan Composting, makers of dairy dew. So tell us a little bit, what should people do to start caring for their lawn, Justin? Yeah, um, thanks. Uh, yeah, happy Earth Day. It's yeah. like Earth Day every day at Morgan Composting, know, right? right? <laughs> this is great to celebrate a day and... I'm really happy to launch the season here. So um, the first thing we talk about with lawns is making sure we feed it. And with our Safe Green Lawn, it's a 1004. And the middle number being zero is because of the phosphorus. Mm -hmm. Anytime we put phosphorus on our lawn, there's a risk that it could leach into our Great Lakes yeah. and our great um, fresh water we have. And then it could create algae bloom. So as manufacturers, we have now eliminated the phosphorus out of there because it's lawn, and we want to make sure that we are um, providing Mother Nature with the best food possible without messing up the lakes. What do the other numbers represent? So the 10 is an is a, uh, organic nitrogen, and then the 4 is a potash. Okay. So um, good things to feed your lawn, get the soil and the roots going, and want that green lawn um, you know, to make our neighbors jealous, right? Of course, yeah. <laughs> I love that part the most. Why does soil health matter, especially regarding lawns? Because... Can't you say like grass just grows anywhere? Yeah, it, it does. Um, so anytime we do our lawn, we want to have it flourish. And what we see on top is the visual part. But what we don't see is the roots, right? Mm -hmm. And what I brought here, um, this is 1004, the Safe Green Lawn. And we put three capfuls in just a little bit ago. And this is what is would be your like chemical-based, salt-based fertilizers. Right. So anytime you put salt and water together, it dilutes, right? And you can see... There's nothing down here. You could accidentally drink this, and there's three capfuls of a chemical fertilizer in here. Most soils in Michigan could be like 2%, maybe a little more, but not much organic matter is in um, the state of Michigan, mm. in a lot of parts of Michigan. Yeah. Where when you use Safe Green Lawn, you can see that thick layer of organic matter. You can see the brown water. And essentially what that's telling us is if you dump this, um, when you use this and the water hits it, yeah. it will feed the roots and then it'll feed the roots for a long time and start making a really lush, healthy looking, that golf course that we're all after. Yes. Um, which golf course do use the Safe Green Lawn on, on their, um, their application too. Yeah. But so this is what it is to help build the roots and feed the lawn. All right, and I know I wanna go back to, you know, the phosphorus aspect too, mm -hmm. because you said it damages, uh, you know, Great Lakes, our, our environment. So this would kind of give people some maybe concerns of working with these chemicals, but that's the positive here, right? There's no phosphorus. Yeah, no phosphorus and organic, right? So let your kids go roll around your lawn. Let your dogs go roll around their lawn, right? It's mm -hmm. not a harmful chemical. And it's, again, it's, it's building the ground for years to come. So you get that healthy environment underneath the ground. So it's like uh, safe. Yeah, it's super safe. safe. Yep, organic and safe. All right, love, love to hear it. Tell us a little bit of the use. How do we really get that into our lawns? Yep, so the Safe Green Lawn is a granulated product. We make it right here in Michigan. Um, our family makes it. It's in the beautiful town of Marion. Um, so you can find this at Warm Beers here, right here. Um, they've got a beautiful issue. Come down and check it out. It's awesome. Um, great family. So, But that product is spread with any cone spreader, push spreader, pole spreader. Um, it's a granulated fertilizer. And uh, if you're looking to patch your lawn, or if you're looking like uh, Fido, you know, has been out there doing its thing all winter, mm -hmm. you're going to have the brown spots, um, we recommend the seed starter. Now, we sell a lot of this all over the U.S. for starting seeds in greenhouses, yeah. but what we found out is customers are using this to actually patch that, them fussy spots that aren't growing too well, yeah. and there's um, 17 different ingredients in there, and there are mycorrhizal fungi to help germinate that seed. Worm casting's already in there, so when you put your grass seed on there and cover it up and water it, this will help bring that um, them bad or fussy spots back to life so your lawn looks really, really well. So it seems like you could start here, and then you just work your way over here. Yep, and then <laughs> if you got a really bad spot that's a bad hole or whatever yeah. if you want the topsoil blend okay. this is there's 20 percent dairy dew in there and then um, we scrape pasture fields of our own to recover the topsoil and that's a really nice um, blend that you can put down and you can fill up holes level lawns out whatever um, and then put your seed right in there cover it up and then water it so, all right Any, yeah anything else you want to say like a long doesn't... cart here right I like know. ready to go so warm beer has it here um, and this is this is great great people and i uh, love to see you come down here and check it out yeah absolutely you can also get the products one this, these are just what three of many lots
lots of uh, products that we're going to go over this season while you guys are, of course, getting outside, getting to landscaping, getting to your lawn. So, Justin, appreciate your time. Thank you. And, of course, you can find more information on Dairy Dew by going to our hot links section on WNEM.com.